Hello, hello, can you hear me? I'm just checking all of my sound right now and giving a uh, um, test run right now on my computer, making sure we're connected. Yep, my computer says it's connected. I'm gonna wait until a couple people have uh, joined and I get the thumbs up from you guys that we're all uh, on. I wanna see where you guys are tuning in from as well. We're gonna be talking about transitional anxiety and by the end of this, you will have a greater understanding of what to do moving forward so that you can actually live a life of power, feel like you're having a greater sense of freedom within yourself. First of all, where I'm at right now, I'm in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, uh, in an Airbnb. Uh, that is close by to the seminar that I was just at on um, with a group of mastermind uh, with Dr. Ed and Karen Osborne, who are really big into sharing and teaching principles of um, sharing a message online. And so I'm constantly masterminding with people who are uh, the big players, the big names. And it's really important to surround yourself with the right people. So uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, who you are, so I can give you a shout out before we begin. I'm going to be talking a little bit about transitional anxiety, the anxiety that we feel when we're going from one place to another. And what I discovered in my journey, uh, hey, Daniela from Romania. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, sorry, I just have a little bit of chocolate here from my dessert last night. Daniela, it's great to have you here, my dear. Um, Daniela has been a client of mine since the summer and uh, going through, hey, Kara, Kara, what's up, girl? Daniela and Kara are both clients of mine who actually were going through transition, going from one place to another. So whether your life, if you take a look at your life, whether you're going from a place of career where you're doing one thing and you aspire to be jumping into another, or perhaps you have broken, have had a breakdown in your relationship, or you're just recently single or divorced or separated or whatever, and you're going into that void of the unknown into what was comfortable, what was known into the unknown. This is for you. <clears throat> this this journey of mine, first of all, my name is Dr. Nima Romani. For you, for those of you who don't know me, the new people, welcome to the group. Um, I created this group as a uh, with the intention of creating an online community of people who are both entrepreneurs and regular individuals who are some who sometimes struggle with the stress and anxiety of expansion. And by expansion, I mean going from one place and having a desire to become more of of who you were before. And in order to do that in in the in the road to the becoming, I discovered that there is some major pitfalls, anxieties, depressions that we all go through. And if you go into the wrong hands and you talk to the wrong people, you might be diagnosed with a condition and convinced that you have to take a pill and convinced that you are not complete and you have a chemical imbalance and there needs to be a pill put into your body so that you could be normal because you're sick. And that's very good for the pharmaceutical industry. It's very good for the doctors, but it's crap for you. I'm working with somebody who we're actually working on getting her off the pills and because she's cleared her the sources of her anxiety and she feels healthy again. And she's been on these pills for 30 years and now that she's off that now that she's working towards getting off them, she feels like her whole world has been crashing down. I mean, these are highly addictive. These are extremely dangerous. And if you have a chemical dependency on anything outside of you because you've been told that you have a chemical imbalance, consider that you've been lied to. And so I am very passionate about wanting to share this message of transformation and healing uh, with people who are ready to make that transformation. And so at the end of this little quick broadcast, I'm going to uh, invite you to take action because nothing will be changed in your life without taking action. Daniela is one of my clients. Um, 
in uh, Romania when I met her. Daniela, do you want to share? Uh, am I free to share a little bit? Not We don't have to go into details, but where you were before to where you are now involves taking action. And it's not just about somebody here to rescue you. In other words, Daniela is in a completely different place than she was in the summer after struggling for eight years being stuck, feeling depressed. Okay, thank you, Daniela, I have your permission. God bless you. Daniela, stuck, depressed, anxiety, complete sense of a loss of power. She reached out to me and says, Nima, I have anxiety and depression. I was, I had this amazing life before, and now I just can't be around other people. So her life has become, throughout the, her transition, her life has become kind of smaller and smaller and smaller. And now she doesn't leave the house, doesn't connect with other people, lost her business, and just wasn't making any income. And... I told her on our first discovery call, the same thing that I tell everybody is and nobody's here to rescue you. And it's, I'm the one that helps you change the perception. And then I hold you accountable to doing certain activities, but it's up to you to make the, to take action. Hey, Sylvia, welcome, welcome, my dear Sylvia. Sylvia just joined the Powerfully Aligned Mastermind program. You have just started taking action. And what I'm here to tell you is you're not able to transform without taking action. So that's the first thing that I'm going to share with you. Now, transitional anxiety, you might feel when you're going from, you look back on who you used to be and you're not pleased. And I know what that's like. A few years back, I took off on this world tour to tr help teach people about the overview method, which is a system of questions designed to transform your thoughts and perceptions into power and gratitude. And it took off and it expanded far beyond the speed of my own emotional intelligence. I didn't really know how to be an entrepreneur. I didn't know how to be, you know, a, a leader of a team that's different than a chiropractic business. I didn't understand the business. And in my transition out of chiropractic, I took off in haste without doing the proper planning and doing the proper emotional work. And worst of all, I didn't have a guide. I didn't have a mentor to help me. So I, the problem with that is that I was using my own feelings as the guide rather than strategic feedback from a mentor. And as I took off, my career started taking off. I started doing these live trainings and workshops all over the world. It was amazing. My ego became like, you couldn't fit it through the door. All right. And uh, those of you who've known me for a while know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Kind of embarrassed to say it, but it's true. I might as well not lie or hide about it. But what ended up happening during the sale of my practice was I lost sight of the fundamentals because I just assumed that, hey, I'm this big success. I don't need to do the fucking work anymore. It's, you know, I'm, 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 I'm special. I'm better than other people. And what ended up happening was I was humbled, if you've ever experienced this, humbled by the events of life. <clears throat> and because I didn't have a coach and because I didn't have a mentor, I was in this pit of depression and anxiety because I was transitioning from this known thing, from the known, which was my 15 year lucrative chiropractic career to the unknown, which is the world of online and coaching and speaking and, and all of the voices from my parents and my own dark passenger was, you're not a psychologist. Who are you to be making such a difference? Who are you to be, you know, and all of those voices, when I hit a setback or a challenge, all of a sudden those voices started drowning out any voice of self-confidence, any voice of self-esteem. I started drifting and drifting and drifting into a pit. And in this transitional anxiety ended me with panic attacks, sleepless nights, wanting to disconnect myself from everybody around me. I didn't even want to see my family. I was embarrassed to go and even visit my brother and see my nephew and niece. It was probably the worst time of my life. Let me know with comments if you can, and likes and loves and all the hearts and stuff. I need to see your feedback because I don't have a live audience where I can engage. I'm just talking into a camera, assuming that a few people are paying attention. Just keep me, uh, hey, Luce, what up, girl? <laughs> Lucy's in London. We got Romania, we got Ontario, we got London. How, how beautiful is this? 
Tom in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Oh, Lu Lucy, by the way, I wanted to tell you something. No offense, but that's the name of my dog. <laughs> Lucy, see, Lucy, say hi. Everyone give some love to Lucy. Give some love to Lucy. <laughs> Montreal's in the house too. So yeah, so so here's what, what, what happens. If you don't have the five critical, five critical shifts that when you're going through this transition, <laughs> loose, <laughs> Lucy, loose. Um, if you don't have these five critical shifts, what ends up happening is as you feel yourself drifting, how many of you guys get this? When you're going through anxiety, I remember the feeling it was like there was somebody pouring cold water down my cerebrospinal fluid. It was disgusting. Every part of my body ached. Hey, Allie, what's up? Every part of my body was aching. And I would go take Lucy for a walk. And then I would feel complete exhaustion. So this was me regretting and resenting all of the things that happened through. Hello, Golnar. All of the things that happened through the process of this transition from my chiropractic business, hey Gemma, this my, my, my extremely lucrative chiropractic business, Giorgiano, what's up? Into this new world of online coaching, speaking, all of the stuff that I'm doing now. And what happened is I lost all of my power. I lost all of my freedom. Those of you who've been in this in this game for quite some time, um, we'll know, uh, Amanda, Amanda, can I get, uh, can I get the, the plug? My battery's about to die. Should have, should have kind of thought about that sooner. <laughs> hey, love you too, Ali. Um, so all of my freedom and power was gone. So those of you who've been in the group for a very long time, you, some of you messaged me going, Nemo, why don't you post anymore? And the truth of the matter is that I couldn't post because I completely felt unworthy of even opening my fucking mouth to share anything because I felt like a complete fraud. How many of you guys can relate? How many of you can relate to what I'm talking about? I want, as I'm sharing my story, I want you to really get uh, an understanding and see what inside of you can relate. So I felt like this fraud. I was like, okay, so who am I to be to be uh, sharing this stuff when I am a complete fucking disaster? And so I went into this little hole. I went into this little pit and I could not, could not open my mouth to speak. I lost my power. I lost my freedom. I lost my ability to express myself. Overnight, I had this amazing chiropractic business that was super duper lucrative. I had to shut that down and I, I completely uh, dismantled my team for the overview method. And all of a sudden, I'm 40 years old looking and going, how the fuck did I end up here? How the hell did I go from speaking on stages all over the world, getting standing ovations, transforming all these lives. I should know better. I should know better. Exactly. You stop living. And the feeling of uh, the, the paralyzing anxiety stops you from breathing, stops you from even wanting to, 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 to take care of yourself. I couldn't look at myself in a mirror. Going to the gym, psh, hell no. I wasn't, wor I wasn't worthy of that. We're always processing as 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 we co-heal and teach. I can relate with certain injuries while teaching yoga. Absolutely. Yoga teachers, you know, you'll, you'll totally understand what I'm saying. So what's the solution? I did that and I made a few critical shifts. I was there last summer. I made a few key critical shifts. And I'm telling you, all of a sudden, everything turned around. I could then look at myself in the mirror and go, not bad. <laughs> Yeah. Talk about felt no power. My dark passenger took over, convinced me that I was the thing that made, I was the thing that made everything wrong. Kara, just watch baby. We just getting started with you. Kara is also in my powerfully aligned mastermind program. So what ends up happening 
I do a few key shifts that I'm going to share with you. And all of a sudden I started to connect with myself. I started listening to that voice. You and I know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you read the scriptures of religious texts. Oh, beautiful. I'm so, so glad that I was able to be of service, my dear Allie. All, all of a sudden, when I shifted and changed that story, everything started to change. I was able to connect with myself. You guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that voice. There's a voice that we all have. There's that voice inside. There is that voice that we read scriptures of old, uh, you know, religious texts from people who died years ago, who basically were human beings who listened to their voice. And one of my mentors were like, why are, why are you reading the, 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 the voice of the old dead people <laughs> from centuries past when you have your own voice inside? And I was like, hmm. So I asked, my, I asked the voice. I said, well, these little voices in my head, what is it? Who am I? What is it that I love to do? And I realized that I am a fucking genius. I'm, I'm, I'm really shitty at a lot of things. But I am a genius when it comes to helping people change their story. I'm a stand for healing and transformation. I love talking about healing and transformation. So I made a few key shifts. Shift number one, how to get out of transitional anxiety. Number one, you're going through a transition from your career into this new thing, from your relationship into this new thing. Number one, you got to have a mission and purpose statement that is congruent with you, congruent with your highest values. What are your values? These are questions that are wise to be asked. You got to find that you got to ask the questions. What are your values? What would you love to read 500 books about? What is it that makes time stand still for you? What do you love talking to others about? When you look at your space, when you look at your Facebook profile, when you look all of the pictures in your Facebook profile and all of the posts that you put up, what is the topic that you speak of? Therein lies the answer to what your values are. And it's very critical that you know. In fact, many of you are my Facebook friends, those of you who are in this group. If I just go on your Facebook profile page, I know exactly what your values are. The question is, do you fucking know what your values are? Because it's critical to know because life is empty and meaningless. It really is. It, there is no inherent meaning to life. However, if we can consciously apply meaning to it, then I promise you that your brief time between 80 to 95 years, hopefully longer, if you take good care of yourself internally and externally, will be a lot more fun on this floating spaceship because we're all going to die. But we don't really take the time to ask the questions, why am I here? Who am I? And that's what I do with every client of mine because we got to determine why you're here and that's step number one and create a mission statement so i refined mine i started mine in 2006 and this summer had me go back and really tweak it and it's a working document i tell all my clients it's a working document that will be tweaked for the rest of your life the key is are you connected to it each day and me i wasn't first step is to reconnect to your mission statement and read it each and every day and make it part of your morning rituals hopefully I mean, I went from working nine to five as a chiropractor to becoming an entrepreneur, which is like, I don't have any structure in my day. So I created, yes, Untethered Soul, absolutely. Michael Singer, phenomenal. And the Surrender Experiment. Wow, I never post anything. Okay, because Sylvia, you've lost all your power and freedom. But guess what? You just enrolled last week into the program. I promise you, Sylvia, you are gonna be completely different within 90 days, even sooner, within your first two weeks of the program, you completely transform. This is what happened with uh, Ryan. Ryan is a client of mine. He called me as a chiropractor. He's like, I am completely lost my purpose. I feel like I'm drifting. I feel like, uh, you know, I've lost, you know, my, my practice numbers are down. My business is down. My relationships are crap. We got him aligned to a purpose right away within his first week. Boom. His business started to expand. He woke up each day with purpose. If you don't have purpose, you're going to die sooner. The research shows when you get this right, 
your life starts to expand. You start to see yourself. You, you see where you fit on this planet. You see where you fit with others. You see who you are and you don't have to apologize for who you are. You actually feel connected. It's a freaking phenomenal experience. You then now can speak up and you can share and have a message because it's connected to something greater than you. And you don't feel any guilt, any shame, any feelings of unworthiness. That's why I can come now and share with you and talk and look you in the eye and share with you this message because I woke up this morning, read my mission statement, connected my heart to it. And I have no doubt in my mind who I am being for you at this moment. I don't have any guilt. I don't have any shame. I'm not hiding from anything. Yeah, beautiful, Ali. Congratulations. It's it's constant work, isn't it? When you get this wrong, your life starts to fall apart. You feel disconnected. The word that I get most when I speak to people in discovery consults is, Dr. Nima, I feel like I'm drifting. I feel like there's no meaning. And when you get that wrong and you don't have connection to that, what happens is you start to look for outside people, places for approval. And when you do that, it's never fulfilling. It sucks. It's the worst thing in the world. Because no person outside of you is ever going to give you something to fill what's missing inside. And if they do, it's dangerous because when you perceive that they're giving it to you on the outside, like a, a relationship that you've been addicted to, what ends up happening is when then your entire mental state and stability is based on their approval of you, you're fucked. I see many people in a state of depression and anxiety because of that one thing. Number two, you gotta clear resentment. I'm talking about your little victim story. 100% of my clients, when I first began and I do my discovery calls with them, they're running a victim story from their past. Their grandfather, their father, their uh, mother, and they claim, oh, but I've forgiven them. I want you to think about this. Who have you thought of forgiving? I want you to think of who you've forgiven in your life. And I want you to consider that if you think that you have to have forgiven them, then you're not really complete with the story. Because the highest form, what I've learned is the highest form of forgiveness, and this is the real fundamental foundation of the overview method, which I've developed to help clear resentment. The highest form of forgiveness is the authentic recognition that everything served you and there is nothing to forgive. Let me repeat that. The highest form of forgiveness is the authentic recognition that everything served you and there is nothing to forgive. And once you truly get that, you don't have to forgive anyone. The resentment clears. If you get this right, you feel a sense of freedom. And because you've cleared the resentment, you have now reclaimed the power that you give away when you play the victim to somebody that you think that you have to, have to forgive. I don't care how bad it was. Believe me, every person that I talk to, they say, oh, Dr. Nima, you don't know. It's been a really rough life. I get it. I get that you've had obstacles. I get that you've had uh, adversity. So have I. This is not a new thing. Stop playing the game of, but my problems are worse than yours. Stop. The complaints that you use are actually projecting your past into your future. So stop it. Do yourself a favor and all those around you. Stop with the resentment. Number three, you got to clear regret. I had many regrets. Why didn't I pay more attention to the accounting? Why didn't I have proper contracts in place? Why didn't I have, I, I was so pissed off at myself. I, every single day, I couldn't forgive myself. I woke up each day beating the shit out of myself every day because of it. And it wasn't until... I did the work, I got the help, I did the work, and I cleared those resentments towards myself, which is guilt and regret, that I found my power back. Because if you don't get this right and you're still holding on with regret, and I'm not just saying just, just no regrets, let it go. No, there's actually work done. You can't just wish it away. 
you can't just do wishful thinking with this. There is actual deep work that needs to be done to go in and get the, to find out the underlying motivation of why you did or didn't do what you did and realize why at the time you made the right choice. That was the hardest thing for me. And it's continual work that I do because then a trigger will come up and then I know how to actually complete that work. So it's very important for you to understand that anything that you're regretting in your life absolutely does not serve you. And it's actually a rock you're carrying in your backpack in this new transition that you're going through that's creating anxiety. I don't care what pill you're taking. I don't care what a guy in a white lab coat has told you. What pill can replace and heal something created by you holding on to regret and guilt. Guilt is a fucking killer to your mojo, to your sparkle, and it can be completed. Number four, one of the things that when you're going from one place to another, a lot of times people are like, oh, I hate this place. I'm moving to China. Have you ever done that? Have you ever just up and left where you are and said, I'm fucking leaving? And what do you discover? Wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. You can't escape yourself. And any lack of integrity with relationships that have broken down that you're trying to escape from are following you the fuck all the way around the world. And it sucks. And I want you to think of the resentment, regret, guilt, any type of a lack of integrity, the person that you cheated on, the people that you cheated out of, the resentments, the broken down, all of those relationships, if you want your life to work in your next transition, have to be repaired and mended. That's actually the fundamental, fundamental after we've done everything in my Powerfully Aligned Mastermind program. One of my clients had completely lost touch with her brother. She made up a story about him that he's this evil, horrible human being. So, and her ex-husband and completely disconnected from mother, father. The, the family was in kind of all over the place. She joined my program in October and we got to work at actually healing every single one of those broken down lack of integrity relationships. And guess what happened as she took those uncomfortable steps when we got her mission statement, clear the resentment, clear the regret, got to work at healing and putting together all of those broken down relationships. She got her life back. She got her family back. The glue, she became the glue for her family to come back together. Her father and brother reunited because of the, her her impact. She got a promotion and job title at work and she basically manifested massive wealth. <laughs> it was huge. It was huge. It was, she didn't realize that all of the things that she was doing, those broken down, the way that her life was occurring to her from her past, a lack of a clear purpose and mission statement, resentment towards her ex-husband, resentment towards her brother, broken down relationships were actually crippling her financially, completely crippling her financially. That's why the people who participate in the program that I have, they not only get themselves connected and powerfully aligned, but it ripples effect, ripple effects all the way into their relationships and connections with others. They feel a sense of power and freedom and full self-expression, which then becomes a magnet for abundance and prosperity. When I went through this process over the summer, I made a list of all of the people, the clients, the past relationships, and I went one by one in mending them. I know it sounds like a 12-step program. I get it, like the whole making amends thing. There's a lot of validity in that. Because your life is about relationships. And if there's any relationships in your life that are broken down, then your life's not working because you're taking that baggage as rocks in your backpack into the next thing and the next thing. So when you're in transition going from one thing to another, be it a relationship to another, whether it's a divorce or a separation, whether you're going to, oh, absolutely, well, come, 
by the way, come to Vancouver uh, <laughs> retreat. <laughs> Let me just finish my thought. If you're going through any transition, please stay. I'm going to talk about uh, retreats and, and live trainings, workshops and stuff in just a second because it's powerful stuff. Stay with me. Any transition you're going through, these are the steps necessary for you to live according to your power in alignment. This is a play on my chiropractic background, but alignment is key. And when I align myself with my values and I started clearing my resentments and regrets and started becoming powerful in the relationship destruction that I had created throughout my life and putting them back together again, I thought, wow, I'm 40 years old. I learned quite a bit. I've made a great impact. Now my next 40 are going to be fucking incredible because I'm taking these steps. When you get them right, you feel like you are you're on fire again. If you feel like you've lost your mojo, you're not alone. Once you take these steps, you get your fire back. You get your power back. You feel free again. You start smiling again. You start dancing. You're like, why is it that I'm smiling again? You start getting involved in creative projects and prosperity and finances magnetized towards you because you feel worthy and deserving of it. If you don't get those steps right, you're, you keep drifting into a pit and you have to hit rock bottom before it's like a force change. My brother, my sister, please don't wait for rock bottom before taking action. And the last, the most important part that in a transition to get you from st stuck, sick, stressed is to be, to becoming powerfully aligned and on purpose. The most important is to hire a mentor is to get a mentor. I posted in the group, uh, James Altucher's post about how to reinvent yourself, your ultimate cheat sheet for reinventing yourself. Check it out. What he says there was bang on. When I was going through my transition, I made the sad mistake of not having a coach or a mentor. And I basically, when you don't have that strategic feedback, what feedback are you using in order to take those steps? The feedback you're using is your own feelings. And unfortunately, because of the stories and the triggers and the drifting that you're going through, your feelings are not a good guide. They are a shitty guide for your next move. And that's why getting strategic feedback is so critical. It is absolutely critical. When you get that mentorship connection right, I spent 20 grand on mentors over the summer. And I've just had such incredible uh incredible results that I've reinvested myself into getting mentorship to be able to help transform myself and continually climb, continually climb. I will never make the mistake of not having strategic feedback again. Why? Because I want to play a big fucking game on this planet because I have 40 years left. My life is at stake and I don't, I want to die knowing that I made the biggest impact possible because I don't have another opportunity. This is the only chance you get on this planet. That's it. The only chance that you get on this planet. So when I made those shifts and I got the right mentorship, my ass was kicked into the ground, into powerfully getting accountability for my commitments. And I went from a state of absolute paralyzing anxiety to creating a, a movement of people on this planet who are actually making changes, not only to themselves, but creating a ripple effect to their families, creating a ripple effect. Their kids are going, mom, there's a huge difference in you. Their husbands, their wives, their girlfriends are like, wow, what's gotten into you? You are like a rock star, powerful. And that's because of the strategic feedback, because I teach what I most wanna learn, which is how to crush stress, transitional anxiety and depression and turn it into your best year ever. And so it is my greatest, highest value and fulfilling adventure to be able to share that with you. And we are graduating five people from our program this month. It is so fulfilling to see the transformation that they have in 90 days. And now five spots have opened up. So if you are open to actually taking action so that you can create your best year ever. And by the way, this isn't for everyone. Do not apply. As you can see, the, uh, the application is online right there. 
Do not apply if you're a victim and you want to stay stuck. Do not apply if you think that somebody's here to save you. Do not apply if you want to complain endlessly and whine rather than looking for solutions. And do not apply. Do not apply if you are of the fixed mindset that there's no hope for me. I only work with people who can trans who, who are ready to do the work to transform. It is uh, my greatest mentor is John DiMartino. I've had tons, by the way. I have four right now. <laughs> I'm constantly learning and masterminding. This is an ongoing process. The work is never done if you want to play a big game. So I encourage you, not every one of you, because I know not, not all of you are ready, but if you are ready and you want to make the change yesterday and you it's a 10 out of 10 desire for you to make – because our first quarter is almost done in 2017, by the way. And if you had the turn of the year and you said, I want to make 2017 my best year ever, and you didn't fucking take action, which many people didn't. It was just a New Year's resolution. If you didn't take action and you're like, okay, first quarter's done, it's time to start pulling up the socks and getting serious and investing in yourself, reach out to me for a free discovery call where I will map out for you where your resentments are, what's not working, and a complete strategy of where it all began and what we need to focus on in order to make the transformation and map out a strategy for you so that you can actually create 2017 as being the best year ever. It has become the most incredible year. Ever. I'm in Victoria and I went last year. I was like, what is it all going to work? What's going to happen now? I went through that transition and I'm so powerfully aligned. I'm in Victoria. I'm doing, I'm working. I got client calls. Uh, you know, I do seminars. I get to travel. I speak. I, I mean, I'm doing exactly the steps that I, I, I walked into. Take off the socks, baby. Just go. Yes. Gemma, reach out if this is your year. If you want to make this your year, be powerfully aligned.com slash apply. Fill out, filling out the form, telling me exactly what's not working, and then scheduling a call for one hour. It'll be the best hour that you've ever spent. And if the fit is right, I will invite you to be one of our members so that you can join the ranks of a growing number of badasses who are actually making transformation in their lives because it's happening. And also, FYI, we have our first event of 2017, April 1st, 2nd, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. We have only 15 spots. Message me, apply, let me know, and we will take you in where I do the life training and I teach you the overview method to help you transform within 24 to 48 hours whatever's been stuck for years. You will leave transformed over that weekend. It is phenomenal. We had one in Montreal and... It was just the most incredible weekend. Those of you who were there, you know, and uh, we're doing it again. Got back on that horse, and this has been an incredible journey in discovery. Yeah, Nadia, we're gonna we're going to get on the phone, and I'm gonna make it a uh, possibility for you to get your butt over to the Vancouver one. And I look forward to that, Nadia. Thank you for being here, Nadia. Give Nadia a round of applause, everybody. This is her first Facebook Live. <laughs> Nadia has been. Uh, I was like, Nadia, get your butt on Facebook if you want to get this content and learn and, and grow. And it's a great place for us to connect. So do you have any other questions? Has this been useful to you? <coughs> Ali, I'll reach out to you. It's all, by, it's all done by application, Ali. So go ahead and apply. Uh, and it's uh, April 1st, 2nd. So it's in a few weeks. Yes, uh, Kara Harris basically says, don't wait. I did and I wish I hadn't. Glad I finally did and now I'm on an amazing road feeling the cruise control already. See you in June and looking forward to seeing where I can come then. Where in Vancouver? It's in downtown Vancouver, Kelly. Does that matter where in Vancouver? It's downtown Vancouver. <laughs> it's downtown Vancouver, baby. Um, I'd love to have you there. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, are there any other questions? Uh, about our live event in Vancouver and about the content that I just shared with you today. Ooh, little doggy there. Has this been useful to you guys? Oh, for finding places to stay. Yeah, downtown Vancouver. And I, Kelly, I recommend Airbnb. I'm in Airbnb right now, Kelly. 
Airbnb, baby. There's so many. Yeah. Howdy. I'm so happy to hear you live. And thank you for your personal coach approach and helping and healing and guiding. You're welcome, Catherine. It's great to have you on board. And let me know if you have any questions. Send me a personal uh, message or uh, apply if you're actually ready to level yourself up. If you're a coach and you don't have a coach, then shame on you. That was me last year. <laughs> that was me last year. If you don't have a coach that is constantly holding you accountable to the greatest version of yourself and not buying in your bullshit stories of victimhood, only wanting the greatest version of you, then shame on you because you're missing out on warp speed of growth. Thanks to Amanda and Lucy too. God bless you, my dear Kara. It's been great working with you and, uh, you're going to see some massive transformation in yourself over the next couple months. You just got started. So I am ready. Okay. If you're ready, Catherine, it's right there. Boom. Fill that out. Reach out. I'll be happy to have a conversation with you and see if you're a fit. Because if I'm going to be spending the next 90 days with you, I got to make sure that you're coachable because I'm not Mr. Support Worker. Oh, poor you. Well, I'll be there to support you when you're in a difficult time. But I'm here to show you where your light is, not just focusing on the dark, is to see the other side and removing your state of victimhood is critical. So go ahead and apply. And I'd be happy to see you on the other side. Are there any other questions? Are there any questions? Was this useful for you transitioning from where you're at, going into the void, listening to the voice? There's a voice inside. And it's important that you obey that voice or suffer the consequences. So hopefully uh, this was of value and use to you guys. And I had a great time. Happy Sunday to, to those of you. Uh, Monday to those of you who are in uh, Australia. Um, and uh, Monday morning, and uh, mad love to all of you. So if you have any other questions, let me know, and I will hopefully stay tuned. I'm posting each day. Make sure you click on get notifications at the top of the page so that you don't miss a single live post. They stay up on replay. They're under the video section, and I'm going to ask that if you know somebody who really needs to hear this message, who's been struggling with anxiety, struggling with depression, wants to expand and create a bigger life for themselves, get them to invite them into this group. And uh, this is a powerful group of badass uh, change makers that are uh, here to level themselves up so they can be better for other people. Sylvia, I can't wait to get started with you. You are not going to recognize yourself within the next 90 days. Bless you, Kara. You are not going to recognize yourself within the next 90 days. See, if you have a story from your past, that's poor me, that story is messing up your life. And what I do in my sessions with you, I help you and the modules that we, I show you, I show you that the complaints that you're having and the stories that you're taking, they need to be transformed. And when you change those stories, you are a different being. The person you are before the sessions are not the same as the person after. The person who you are before the weekend workshop is not the same because your beliefs have completely changed. The lies, the lies that say, I'm not worthy of love. My father didn't support me. Uh, I, was, I wasn't loved as a child. These lies that we tell mess up our entire lives. And so... I'm here to help you make your life work. And it's so fulfilling. I gave up a very lucrative chiropractic practice to live this lifestyle. So I know what it's like to go into the void, into the transition from where you are to where you'd love to be. I absolutely love sharing it. So reach out to me if this is of uh, value to you to be part of a movement and a community of people that are there to support you and uh, to challenge you and support you on your growth to the highest version of yourself. God bless you uh, all. Make sure you reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Stay tuned. Get notifications uh, up on the, uh, the Facebook group, and I will see you at the next perfect time.